It is said that wars are only won upon the anvil of honor. Others believe victory requires strategy and a mastery of power. War is deception. A game played best from the shadows. Only strength and raw power can assure total dominance. Welcome to part 2 of Never Give Up. So, Legion is currently attacking the Alliance. We have Forsaken, who has become the Nurse... No, not yet. No, yes, Nurse with Forsaken. Sorry, just it didn't update because I'm just exited Warcraft and in again. But yes, the Alliance... Oh, Morgrain level 7 is just right there. And he has the Book of Medea. Remember, if he gets caught, the Legion will be able to get the book and then perhaps summon later on because Varimathras is level 6. So, Nurse with Forsaken uh, died... The Scourge, I guess you could say, and then join their team instead of the Alliance. So the Alliance is back to their fourth uh, man team. We have Hellscream, who is currently in Dumnaeus. Oh no, oh, Forsaken never took this place, so he's gonna be able to just get a free, get all the lumber, and gonna soon move on the capital. Now, I'm not sure if Scourge is gonna bother to start fighting him. They, they got the, they got the North one. And so has Colt of them. It's only Nessus Forsaken who's left behind. And I doubt we might see much action from him, perhaps, just judging from how he has been performing this game. So the Alliance, oh yeah, to his hand still stands, and now Yellow comes to try and help as well. Yellow has just abandoned everything south and just decided, you know what, north it is. Felsad is north, has a couple of good items, uh, Thassurion is now up and fighting with Alexander Smolgren on the front lines against the demons from the Burning Legion. And they are just keep they just keep going longer and longer up north and it's gonna face the blood offs really soon. Infernals really nice, just excellent to have. They're they they were not in in defense upgrades and I noticed was it magic I saw that have been upgraded. Yeah. Magic and defense has been upgraded so he's focusing more on damage uh, magic attack rather than his normal attack but he's focusing on the defense of course on those units as well. Now they probably want to take out Strathorn. Because then they have one taken one of the big skull settlements, and then they can go for Anderhall and then Capital, and then you know what happens to restore Lord One and etc. Now, Blood of I hope you're gonna start fighting. You have a lot of swordsmen, I notice. Maybe it's those you start with, I'm not sure. And I see Legion is not with his troops. Either he's planning to make them as a diversion and just maybe focus on Silver Moon, perhaps? So the Sunwell is not heavily protected, and let's take a look at his income. He has around 365 gold, he has the Echo Dome, he... and he has... wow! Nice job, except you haven't uh, blocked off that entrance, but you blocked off in case uh, Bloodless wants to go fell. No, no, Illidari and then get Illidan who's, who's there. So, nice job to that, props to that. Uh, so the Alliance is of course going to destroy this, they're going to get Eastern Plague Lands, but they are, are going to be forced to fight Hellscream rather soon because he is well how should I put this his horde is ho is on his way to Lordaeron and if they want to cap oh so Dalaran has taken initiative to teleport to Tears for Glades and is now going to start fighting in a new Forsaken which is currently spamming spamming uh, abominations and nothing else. I mean, if he had antimatic shell on his uh, Banshees, if Dalaran would have been countered and wouldn't have been able to defeat um, uh, Death of Forsaken. Unless, of course, he had come with the spells, which would have helped a lot. And uh, Let's take a look at... Oh my god, that's so much money and you're using it to spam abominations. This is so disappointing. Sorry, but this is so disappointing to just watch a spam of ab abominations. It is. Uh, so yellow, yeah, and they're continuing this way, and yep, Legion is gonna attack the Sunwell, and he's m and he might be able to secure it, and he's gonna spam Void Walkers. We have seen one Legion player who spams uh, Fell Stalkers, and this one goes for Void Walkers with their magic. Probably get another. You, could, you should also spam, uh, get some Undeads as well, like Abomination. They're great tanks, especially because they don't have the um, Summoned armor. Oh, are you gonna go for either more por more portals? So, Alexandros did uh, realize that the Sunwell is under attack. He's not on his way yet, and neither is Blood of, so it seems that he's gonna be. 
At least, yep. At least he's not a fucked out ally. Oh, I can understand some mad things going on here. So Colt and Scourge are, of course, gonna get their great comeback because every time Scourge and Colt goes back to Northrend, they are bound to have a, at least one great comeback in the game. Just because they have time to regroup, get their forces up, get uh, take care of the last creeps, and etc. and etc. That's a lot. And you haven't even taken the summon yet, which means you can summon the guardians. Now, Felstead is here, and he, an army of Voidwalkers. Yeah, spam. Oh, cigarettes. I was, ex to be honest, I was expecting some underbuildings like Slaughterhouse. Hold on. Alright, we're back again. So, Legion is taking the summon. The Blood of are tr running desperately to the Isle of Colonels to try and stop them. And many of these Voidwalkers are going to die to ships and elf units now. It is a little bit dangerous there. It could be dangerous. Oh, and dwarfs. Teleport from behind to take the sun from them. I think the legion might just be stopped in the tracks and Barry Martha is dead Balnasar might die. They have summoned extra reinforcements with the kill Jane's gift. Death Rock is still in there as well And you know, so is Balnas. It's just a mass void walker. The brothers are defeating them currently uh, And the healing going on to the blood of units are keeping them up. I don't think the healing goes to Yellow's unit unfortunately, but Meh, and he only has 25 for gold and not enough lump to start producing more gold, or at least a decent amount, so he is actually gonna lose his hold there, unfortunately. God damn it, Legion, I was I was uh, going for you there. No, oh, sorry, I came near the microphone. But you went and massed Void Walkers when you should have at least gotten a few Fell Stalkers, at least, because they would have done some nice damage. And also, actually, that was a little bit of waste. I believe, I believe that the Alliance could have defeated these Void Walkers without the Sunwell Guardians. Oh well. But Deathrock and Balance are still in the middle of it. What they should do is take the Sunwells as easy as that from them, because that's what's going to cause some trouble. And now Dragonmark comes from the other side to, to, in, and enters the battle for Lord Ron. And I do see Dalaran is no longer there. No, he has teleported safely to the city of uh, Dalaran. But now Dragonmark is, you know, ending uh, the fights and destroying Nersu's Forsaken completely. I don't know. Where is Sylvanas? Sylvanas is dead, which means Farinel is the only left. And Sylvanas hasn't gotten the base in north, which technically means Deathnell is the only place where Sylvanas has some kind of worker left, I guess I could put it. I guess that's how I can put it. So yeah, the Void Walkers are getting... Uh, oh, wow. He's living dangerously. So the Void Walkers are dying. Yellow is going to reinforce the Sun World currently, and he's going to keep himself there. Level 7. Is it possible we might actually see a Dark Iron happening in this game and taking the sun? Well, because, I mean, hell, that would be amazingly fun to see because I haven't seen that in a long time. But, something that would be even more fun to see Dragonmar take the sun well, because Dragonmar always loses. Now, he did have, have a free south, he didn't bother to go yellow, but he did go and, and fought other enemies. He defeated trolls, uh, which he vastly outnumbered. And now he ended the fight between Dalaran and Ursus Forsaken. So, how I imagine the, out, uh, the fight is going to continue to go is that we're going to have the Alliance who's going to probably be fighting off against Dragonmar. And then Scourge will at some point make a return. Uh, maybe Doom drop the Sunwell with Nax Ramas. It is a possibility for it. Um, don't look away from it. Oh god, he has... Holy shit. Level 9 Arthurs. Yeah. If they went for the Sunwell now and got a proper landing... They would be able to take it with no problem whatsoever. So, let's take a look at Mograine, who, I guess he wants to try and take out Suleiman. I mean, uh, te uh, not Teal, but sorry, Darkwing, is gone, so it wouldn't be too much trouble. Is He is just, oh, is he planning a second attack, or is he just waiting for Astral Walk? And maybe he doesn't know about the Dark Summoning. Who knows, there is so much that could happen. But currently... Uh, south mostly belongs to Yellow and Dragonmar. Yeah, uh, mostly Yellow, but Dragonmar controls a large portion. Oh, did they get away? They they teleported away here. Now they're stuck on this island. Now they have to wait for that. But then again, they got another 15 control point. Nice! Uh, so, let's find out. Okay, ba yeah, I'm not, not sure. I was a bit, little bit disappointed with the replay, but I'm proud of Hellscream currently, uh, doing very nice himself. 
Not too proud of Alliance uh, for, ma for allying off of Forsaken. Oh, these guys. Let me see. Uh, zero in magic. Uh, zero in range. Um, what about... Oh, there's no upgrades whatsoever. One in defense. Damage has master. Very good. Necromancers has adept, which gives them an only frenzy. And they, of course, have Nox Raw Master. I feel a late level ele uh, 8 Keltuzard, 7 North. And then we did have a Nubarak, level 7, and Arthas 9. Okay, very good. Yeah, they are gonna take care of that. And now they're entering Nox Raw I'm probably gonna be on the move. I do see a ship with two acolytes. Why is it going back to north when I can't understand? Just yet, at least. So Hellscream is going to keep going into Western Plaguelands, Eastern Plaguelands, and most likely move up uh, towards Quathalas pre pretty soon. He could go the alternate route, going to Windrun Aspire. Now, he has a lot of income, uh, since he does control uh, the Arathi Highlands, Hinterlands, uh, the Wetlands, Toilet Highlands. Easy win! Yeah, um, good luck. Uh, Hillsborough Foothills, Silver Pine. Lordaeron, or Tearsful Glades, I guess I should call it. So, no, look at Dragon. How many does... 21, yeah. Yeah, I believe he is... Uh, we can destroy all. Yeah, I'm looking for... Like, honestly, I am putting my money on Dragon. I want to see... Hell Scream, I want to see you. Ooh. Ooh. You're not going to be able to defeat him now. So Malakos is spawned. Uh, but Hell, I'm, I'm putting my money on Hellscream. I want him to win. I want him to show this puny, sorry, puny alliance because they mass allied against Scourge with the uh, Forsaken. I'm, I'm not gonna say that Forsaken did a wonderful job though, but they certainly did something. Uh, two, three, four, three, three, five. Most likely, by spamming some more forces, these are going to go down. He, I don't think Dragonmire is going to waste his time by sending his main army down there again. I don't see him have an action in all the dragons with him. He can have more drag. Oh, this guy wants to get this. He wants to try and take the dragon more from behind. We can see that. Now, uh, let's take a look at Blood Oaths. Uh, yeah, all of you are in Quathalas at the moment. It, it feels almost like you're having a camping uh, trip in Quathalas. Just all of you staying there. Ter's hand still alive. Ter's, Ter's hand still alive. Now... Oh, I, th I can see the tactics. He is sending a lot of arcane elementals to try and get it. But of course, the tower spam is much better against Maligos. And he's also can, he also can level. Let's find out where Nux Ramas is. Uh, really wanna find Nux Ramas is in Northern still, and I don't know what you are doing. Uh, I I'm really looking forward to see. You have a scroll. Uh, I mean, North. Sorry, has a scroll. Uh, what about you? Oh, oh, you're still alive in uh, Northrend. Okay, uh, but you. D um. Sayo, I'm gonna ask you now, because you're most likely gonna watch this video. Why did you teleport to the graveyard right outside? You wasted 350 gold on that man, you know that. I'm just questioning that, sorry, but I, it has to be asked. Now, they control uh, Anderhall. What about what happened south? Spam is still going on, and they're spamming ranged. Now, Area Peak still stands, which without doubt is a thing that should go down because of Falstad. But I'm not sure if Dragonmire is going to send their entire force to deal with that. 11. Oh, and the Alliance is just there. And they're going to go for, uh, for not sorry, to hand, but Strathholm. Oh, they're going to send their army and destroy Dalaran. They also brought in their siege columns now to, well, I guess tank Maligos. But that's not how it works, unfortunately. Now, but the entire Scourge army, which is enormous, if I might say so. Oh, are you teleporting? Oh? Is it a possibility that Blood Ops is gonna accept? I mean, m 
the Sunwell is mostly under control by Yellow. There's a few towns from Red, but the Barracks is there. He can produce some units quite fast. What are Skirt waiting for? Yeah, it seems Yellow is uh, outnumbering them now. I don't remember that. Okay. Uh, I guess you just wanted to see... Oh! Okay, so is he going to go north or is he going to continue? That's the key uh, thing I think, uh, I'm think i thinking about here. That dragon is acting weirdly, like it's humping the air. They're making a... Tomb of Relics, and I haven't seen Dalaran yet, okay. So they're going in again for yet another attack to try and take down Malikos. Uh, mass Shield coming up, and some spells going on. The Blue Dragons, of course, cannot be damaged by... What's it called? Damaged by magic. Uh, but they can be attacked by the Arcane Elementals, and the Siege Golem is going to do nothing here. They're not going to be able to do anything, but they might be able to bring down Malagos. Uh, the seal is gone, which means the Constructionist can go down, but the halfway, unless Scourge interfered and took it, that would be hilarious. Uh, and they are on the run. They, they don't want to risk dying. Oh, Blizzard coming out, and he's mostly doing damage to his own units, I think. Is he doing damage to Malagos? I think it is actually doing... Damage to Maligos. Yeah, the spam versus spam. I uh, believe is. Yeah, one more round and they're gonna be able to get it. Um, Mal oh, he just wanna try and get it now and he's gonna die. There we go. And. It would be fun if Scourge went and got it. It is possible. But where are they gonna teleport? That is my big, qu big, big question. And Nax Ramas is still standing here. Uh, so. Okay. <sighs> So many questions. So many questions unanswered. Hellscream, show them the might of the Dragonmark clan. Show you this alliance. And it's nothing compared to what you are. Now, where is Silverhand? Oh, did the Silverhand disconnect? I guess he disconnects. Or maybe he dropped the plug. Who, know? Who knows? You never know. Oh my god. That's genius, because of those cultists and mid- Oh! Scourge. Oh no, the magic center is the... Or maybe not. No, the shade is... It's clever. So the best way, where that place they could do it is all right over there. Uh, to basically make... Oh, not there! Why the... Okay, so blue wants to go there, but cult... Oh! So they are teleporting there. Okay, I've seen stranger places, but then again. Oh no, this is the strangest that they teleport right inside. Now, Skirt is getting the Sunwell immediately by teleporting directly to it, which means the Alliance is going to be in a big, big trouble because they have to either decide if they want to defend the Sunwell or if they want to fight against Dragon Ball. Okay, so Blue wants uh, Cult to go and take uh, Dalron, but there's all the shield generators. See the defense cruisers up. So taking, uh, it wouldn't help taking Dalron. Don't just they would have to take every crystal around it as well. Now, uh, did I see Dalron teleport here or maybe to the, to Silver Moon? I don't know where they teleported. I want to. Oh, that. Where did his forces teleport then? Uh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Um. So for some reason he went Scarlet? Wait. Oh, that bloody... Oh my god. He allied alliance again. I don't like this silver vampire. He allied alliance again. Now Skirt is in control of the Sunwell and he's preparing to absorb and most likely he's going to get it. S uh, s s sorry, Scarlet's strength alone. Not enough compared to what Skirt is currently. Uh... Yellow is powerful, uh, but has most of his stuff down uh, longer south, so he won't be able to make it by the looks of it. And Dollar One, well, is trying to get Maligos and is kind of, yeah, in a busy thing with that. He's going to get Maligos soon, uh, but he needs a hero there to get it, to get it. Now, what is Seo going to do though? Is he going to attack? Uh, is he going to attack uh, Dollar One? Where is it? Where is that flying fortress? Let me see if I can see it moving or something. Is it still here? I don't know where that flying fort. 
no, I, I don't know where that Flying Fortress went, but... Oh wait, it is here, in... Uh...